Why, hello there, and welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. In the very last episode, we descended the steps that led to the next level, level two of the dungeon. Now, not only do we have to explore this level of the dungeon to find all of the monsters who we will then slay to get loot that we will probably sell to Brax at an incredible loss in order to buy something from him, at an equally incredible loss to us, of course, I have a dimensional portal to investigate, a dimensional address that uh, I hope I've written down well because the last character didn't have so much luck with the dimensional portal. No, let us hope that Fallen Sky does not also end up in Diggle Hell, or if he does, he at least manages to get back out of it. Well, it would help if I actually started recording, wouldn't it? Yes, I think that would be a fantastic idea. Damn you, OBS, and your trickery. Never fear, though, you've not lost much. I've just killed four helpless... Well, actually, they weren't helpless. That one called me a, tr a troll-whoring sheep buggerer. His death was gruesome and extremely slow. The others I killed fairly quickly because they hadn't insulted me, but him, he suffered. Oh, yes. Now, <laughs> there are a few things... Seriously, a troll-whoring sheep buggerer... I'm going to have to steal that insult. It was actually quite good. If it wasn't being aimed at me, I would have uh, had to stop for a few moments and just clap, but I didn't, no. Right, there are a few things I would like to do. First and foremost, let me uh, get up all of these screens that we're going to be using at length. Let's get my loot fisk down there. No, loot fisk down there. Also, you can now have all the random crap that I got off your friends. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. What I would like to do is, as I said, once I got to the second level, I just wanted to get to the second level. We're going to try and use this. <sighs> okay, this, this could go horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. But, let's see. Oh, no, that's wrong. See, I already almost made a horrible, horrible mistake. Uh, Kermagi Gorlach, is that right? Uh, it looks right. Where's it gonna go? Portal to distant... Oh, uh, it's not red. It's not the hellish sort of skulls flowing down through bubbling blood kind of portal. But before we go to possibly our doom, that's just, uh, wandering around so I've got an excuse to listen to this awesome music for a little while. <sighs> Soothe my soul. Okay, that's enough soul soothing. Let us go! To dimensions a distance from our own. Well, where am I? Level zero. The Pillar of Usurpers. Very well. Hello. You've only got eight head points, so you should be fairly easy for me to kill. And for you. Ooh. Take that. And you, hopefully. There we go. Collapsed in a puddle of, uh, sorry, in a pile of gibbs and fluts. What the hell is fluts? I have no idea. But apparently we are here, and I have no idea where here is. Hello? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Just move over there. There we go. And evil magic potato. Why are they evil? Uh... Peasantly pitchfork? No, no, no. That won't do. Not for us. Fallen Sky is no peasant. Look at that confident strut that he's got going there. A peasant doesn't strut like that. What's in here? Have we reached the end of this level already? Really? Is this all there is? My goodness. Let's move that over a little bit more. Okay. What? No, no, it's going to be one of these crazy warping around levels. I hate those levels. My direction sense can't work properly when I'm hopping all over the place. Uh, actually, let's go down this way. Nothing, really. How disappointing. Interesting to see there, though, that um, the levels that we've taken... I've not actually glanced at that. I remember glancing at it in previous playthroughs, but uh, 
To the right are the number of skills you've learned in the category of each heroic archetype. For every skill learned, you gain a corresponding archetype level. Oh, fair enough. Open the door. Ooh, a lamppost. Reminiscent of the ones in Narnia. Uh, can I not pick... Wizardly empties. Wizards don't have a problem. Okay. Wizards can stop drinking anytime they want. Looks like someone was running pretty low on mana. Hmm. Oh, that does remind me. Someone did tell me to uh, get rid of all my drinks. And that is a surprisingly good bit of advice, honestly, because I really don't need drinks. I don't use mana. Hey. Oh, there. A simple wooden shield. I kind of feel bad when I kill the bumblebees. Or the bumblebee people. I've got nothing against bees. I actually quite like bees. When a bee's nest randomly appeared in my uh, yard underneath my plum tree, I was actually quite pleased. Okay, this looks like an interesting chest. What's going to be inside? Was I just hit in the crotch by the lid of this chest? Can't say I prove. How about you? Okay, doesn't look like he wants to hit me in the crotch, and I can only offer my sincere gratitude for that. By means of a mace to the face. I mean, how else is someone meant to show the gratitude? I don't like mysterious portals. And I don't like people who run away from me either. Ooh, you get. Apparently I've gone haywire. Not sure what that meant. A rusty sword? Actually, hang on. That had some interesting effects. Very, very rusty. Your enemies might just die of tetanus. <laughs> okay. So it poisons them. That's actually kind of cool. Fair enough. Alright, we're going to go down here. And I'm going to take a sip of tea while we're doing that. Glorious, glorious tea. Okay. Anything else? Or have I just walked all the way down here for not- Ah. You bugger. Okay. Well, actually, this gives me another opportunity to take a sip of tea. This all worked out better than I expected. Ah, oh, really? Was that it? I'm a little bit disappointed. Honestly, quite disappointed, in fact. Right. I'm going to keep only the best types of food on my hotbar. They're, they're all fairly decent. This is a good potion, I think, to have around. Um, I'll play around with those in a moment. Uh, the wands can stay there. This can immediately be turned into something better. Uh, the wine, all of this. I'm going to start depositing the things that I'm going to sell later on here. Um... I'm not sh That looks more like a crafting ingredient than a drink, so I'm going to keep that. Same for the potions of radiance. And for that matter, if we get any absinthe, I'm going to keep hold of that. But, aquafortis as well. In fact, the aquafortis can go there. Um, potion of replenishment. Tiny ivory vortices. Play about in this flask's fluid. The potion will replenish your life and mana. Um, okay. We'll take that then. Anything else? This can go down. That is a potion of clear vision. Actually, no. We'll... Some of these potions we will actually keep. Since I might use them. But that I know I can use for a crafting component. The potion of Midas. We'll keep that. Um... Have I stored a leather belt anywhere over here? I need to get this place in a, a better... Better state of organization, I think. Uh, we'll drop the belt, though. Because I can use that for something later. Have I got any silver yet? No. That down there. I do have aluminium. Got that there. Okay, yes, I'm sorry about this, but uh, inventory management is important. You don't even know. Some chalk there. Various powders can all go on that wall, along with uh, perishables. 
These we'll definitely keep. Um, well, yeah, we'll we'll keep that. Uh, you're gonna be sold. The vodka we're keeping because it's vodka. I need no other reason. Um, but all of this is gonna get flogged. Casserites. Have I got some of that over there? I think I might. No, that's uh, bitumous coal. Yeah, well, I can go down there. Potion of stealing we'll keep as well. The empty flasks I'll keep on me. Uh, right, the things I'm going to sell eventually when I find a shop are these. Keep all the bolts. This as well. Definitely that. And all of this drink. And uh, we'll just drop that somewhere. Oh, wow, I can actually pile them on top of each other? That makes things a lot easier. I'm going to keep the black pearl, though. And that about sets all of that up. We'll keep the bolts of the squid out. And the clockwork drills. Yeah. Drill bomb, actually. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. We are ready to continue now. Thank you, Pocket Dimension. What? The dead are restless. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. Acid sprayer? Well, that's not too bad. Rusty caltrops. Anything else that wants to try and kill me? A scalding steam mine. That did want to kill me, but I denied. Clockwork Tesla rod. Ooh. That actually looked pretty cool. Metal orbly, <laughs> orby staff. Actually, we've got... Oh, no, we don't have the knobby, uh, the knobbly staff yet, but uh, we almost have everything for that. And the clockwork drill bomb. Okay, well, I could turn my clockwork drill bolts into uh, clockwork drill bombs. That's actually quite useful. Grab you, and then head back down here. I see you there. Don't think I don't. Alright, what's this? Not worth it, I'm afraid. So, I want to check out that... Uh, what I can only imagine is a tinkering recipe. Where are you? There's that mace. Though I suppose it could be a smithing recipe as well. Mace, mace... Yeah, here we are. Clockwork Tesla boat. I need a fine steel mace. Ooh. That actually looks really good. Okay, have skill. What kind of maces can I make yet? Maces, maces. A steel mace I can make up to. But I'm going to need steel ingots for that. And to make steel ingots, I need... Where are you? Chalk, bitmus coal, and an iron ingot. In fact, I think I've already got that in my dimension. Let me hop back there and check. Chalk. Yes, we'll take you. Bitmus coal. Take you. And iron ingot. And then the steel ingots. Right, let's uh, quickly make that. Have ingredients, please. Yes, craft. There we go. How many does that give me? It gives me four. This lobster, mace of the lobster, is quite nice, especially because it's enchanted. But, that being said, we can make a rough steel mace. And that is already getting close to the same level of damage. In fact, it might even be a little bit higher in damage. Let's craft it. We can immediately go up then to the steel mace, which is significantly more powerful. And later on, we can make the fine steel mace. Yep, yeah, one more turn we can do that. 
Wow. And then what was it to make the tinkering? Get rid of the ingredients. Where's the mace? Uh, turn that off as well then. We're going to need five levels in that. We're going to need just two copper wires and one voltaic cell. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye out for that then. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for those, but I'm afraid that this is now better for me than the Mace of Lobster. I'm going to be sorry to see that go, but uh, this drastically improves my damage, so go it shall. You'll be in the uh, for sale pile. I'll just drop off my steel ingot as well. Uh, the traps I'm going to keep with me. I'll drop off the bow staff too. And this uh, shirt. And of course, the bitmus coal. Okay. We are ready to continue. That wasn't too bad, actually. Alright then, onward. You guys. How about you all just follow me back up here to a nice choke point, please? Thank you. Wow, that was good. 16 crushing damage. Got plus 5 to this. You two? Half killed you. All killed you. And they're not doing too much damage to me, honestly. Well, that was getting up there. That was three. It's probably the most I've seen in a while. And then... Wow, you're actually quite beasty. I mean, you've got a lot of health compared to the others. Like 26 health on a batty. There we go. Drink, food, fancy urn. Potion of lively regeneration. That gives us two. Yeah, let's pop this. Did it do anything? Should really have had a look around first. There is a computer on that wall. Oh, an unfriendly AI. Well, damn. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to just rocket punch you. Uh, actually, that only did four damage. That's not too bad. Oh, he's got a little candle. A little candly tombstone. Sacrificial dagger. Can I do anything with this? Monster computer. A monster computer. It is engraved with some kind of fruit. What? Oh, ha. I get what you're trying to do there. Very clever. Aha! My lord. 27,000 Zorkmins. Ultimate guide to witchcraft. It's detection and how to hammer it. Fair enough. What other kind of things have you got here? Well, that's actually a decent shield. Probably not quite as good as the one I've got, though. Got to be honest. But that would fa be fantastic. The amount of extra damage I'd be doing. But I would be taking quite a lot of damage from certain types of uh, attacks. Another place behind him. Hmm. I'm going to have to work out how to get past you. Someone has given me a hint in the comments. I will probably try that when I actually go back to him to sell stuff. If I get that far. Hello? That was a bit silly because whilst walking down there, the batty could have come up towards me and thus triggered the trap. Not actually sure if batties can trigger floor traps, but I wouldn't be too surprised. The royal beatdown. Okay. Wand of Bling, a fine steel mace, a steel ingot, and a potion of stealing. Hmm. The scaly hubric of the fish. Scaled armor and a heradric loot fisk cube. Fair enough. That's something quite new. Yikes. Samedi. I don't seem to be uh, too worried about me at the moment. The girdle of shiny steel plates and a 
copper cable belt, a voltaic cell and a brass mechanism will make the clockwork regulator belt. And the Asgardian storm hammer? My god! We need a warhammer, a voltaic potion and two platinum ingots. I want that so badly. Right, your time has come. Oh wow, took you out in one hit. Yes, I think making this uh, mace was definitely the right thing to do. Hello? What the hell are you? A murderous root barger. A rusty metal buckler. Come over. There we go. Oh dear lord. Is the Baron again? How? Why? Is that another Baron? No. However, I do kind of want to uh, check out that mystical graffiti. What does this say? Okay. Right, well, time to write down another name. Fuki Foromagliu. I only hope I've written that right. Because, uh, let me just double check that. Because this looks like one I could easily get wrong. Yes, I think I've written it right. Got it. We may go to that one. What? Did you just hit me, Baron? I think you did. Right. That is it. I'm not playing around anymore. Though it appears that you are. Well done. Take that! And I will destroy your friend. Oops, I'm getting a text. Hooray! Let's see. Okay. I am good. Alright. Oh, that was the Dwarven Handshake. Hold on. Ah, you swine! Come back here! Face me like a baron! Though actually, running away probably is how a baron would face danger. Come hither, come on. <sighs> Fine. It's gonna be like this. Where have you gone? You down here? Show yourself. Well, it seems that the Baron has scarpered, so whilst I continue to hunt around for that elusive fellow, I'll wrap the episode up there. We have spent an awful lot of time managing our inventory, but on the plus side, we've crafted a fantastic mace and we have successfully navigated our first distant dimension. I am very pleased and I'm sure Fallen Sky is as well. But that is it from this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you will join us for the next, but until then, do take care.